in Seattle, Stanford, and then a trip to Autzen. This week brings some Thursday night football to Autzen as ninth-ranked Oregon hosts California. Recall, last November, top-ranked Oregon traveled to Strawberry Canyon for a showdown with the Bears, and Cliff Harris was locking stuff down. A 64-yard punt return in the second quarter to give Oregon its first score of the night in a game where Chip Kelly's high-octane offense was held in check by that California defense. A two-point conversion then after Harris's touchdown gave Oregon the lead at 8-7 as every point was valuable in this game. And then the Ducks had to grind on a final possession to run out the clock and escape with a 15-13 win. Well, besides the punt return, um, you know, I thought our defense did a really nice job of shutting them down and, and we missed a critical field goal that would have put us ahead in the fourth quarter. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it, we were very competitive in that game. That's what football is. I mean, you stay in your gap, you can shut it down, you know, shut that person, that other team down. And we stayed in our gaps. That's all you got to do, you know. That's simple as that. Gap defense, you know. When Mike Riley was asked post game where his team goes after the loss to ASU, he simply said to practice on Tuesday. Still to come on ITP, back to Tempe for more with Oregon State, where a first win slipped through the Beavers' grasp yet again. It's tough. I mean, there's not really any words you could, you could pretty it up. Um, you know, a loss is a loss. And uh, we're just going to see what we, what we can do from here. The latest AP Top 25, the Idle Ducks remain at number nine. Coach's poll has Oregon nine as well. LSU number one still, Bama and Oklahoma switch at two and three. Wisconsin up to four. Stanford slips a spot to seven. Sun Devils win over OSU, jumps them to 22. Washington and USC receiving votes. The Beavers' lack of a rushing game was evident once again during the loss to the Devils. Malcolm Agnew's absence was certainly felt as Oregon State only ran the ball 14 times. Phil Milani has more on the Beavers' unbalanced attack from Tempe. Quarterback Sean Mannion set a Beavers all-time record with 66 pass attempts, breaking Eric Wilhelm's record from 1986. In doing so, though, he threw four interceptions. Head coach Mike Riley said that ball security with Mannion and also in special teams may have been the difference in the game. The difference was that the, the, I think the special teams plays that uh, we didn't make and they made probably ended up being the, the Two score difference in the game. I just misjudged it. Uh, that's all. You know, I thought it was coming down closer to me, and uh, you know, was, I catch those all the time in practice. There's no excuse. You know, it's just one of those one of those plays. You know, I just it was the ball was just uh, carrying away from me. I mean, I turned the ball over, you know, several times. You know, there were a lot of plays that I could have made. Um, you know, under these circumstances, a tough loss. You, you mean you, you can't really feel good about about too much. You know, you just got to learn from the bad. Build off the good, and, and we're all just going to keep working. The Beavers are now 0-4 for the first time since 1996. They'll try and regroup this week and prepare for Arizona next Saturday. With the Beavers and Tempe, I'm Phil Milani for Inside the Pack. We're just about to wrap up this edition of ITP. When we return, our shining stars of the weekend. As we prepare for a Thursday night game under the lights for Oregon, we need to look at the top performances from this past weekend. Saturday scholars, Nick, as usual. You We've got to take one more look at that Kobe Fleener catch from Stanford. A two touchdown performance and this a nominee for catch of the year in the pack. How much stick comes on those gloves? A one-hander, 18 yards, looking like Seth Trimmer. Well, I'd like to think so. Yeah. But uh, speaking of plays of the year, Cameron Marshall put his name in the ring for uh, the run of the year. It might have been bad tackling, maybe a good run. But either way, he shut a lot of beeves on the way to a 37-yard score. My scholar goes to Matt Barkley. The SC quarterback lit up the Wildcat D for a Trojan record, 468 yards passing. Also ran for a score. His counterpart at Arizona, Nick Foles, threw for 415 in the defeat, throwing the rock all over the yard there in the Coliseum. Seth, this week, is this the week for the Beavers? Well, here's the good news for the Beaver Nation. I think any given week is a possible Beaver victory. I don't think Dennis Erickson was being trite when he said this was a big win for them and know that they had a real chance to lose this game. So any given week, they have a chance to pull it together and pull out a W. All right, Nick, Oregon versus Cal, Thursday night under the lights. Ducks, 
really their worst test of the season last year. I mean, they really were up against it last year. Yeah, but this year. time they can't get away with the fake injuries, no, right? No. They're knowing they're going to look we'll, for those. We'll so see about I think that. we'll be okay. All right. Well, that'll about wrap it up for this week. Thanks to former Oregon State wide receiver Seth Trimmer for joining us here on Inside the Pack. For Nick Krupke, I'm Tom Ward. So long, and we'll see you next week.